This is round six of the PS4 National Premier League's New South Wales Men's One. With one game on Saturday and five on Sunday, there's plenty of action to get through. So let's go to your match commentator, Adam Santa Rossi. It's round six of the competition, and we have some blockbuster games in store. Marconi hosts the Blacktown Spartans, Sydney Olympic travel to Manly, Rockdale City and Blacktown City go head to head, while Parramatta FC hosts the South Coast Wolves, and the Sutherland Sharks travel to Lambert Park to meet Apia Leichhardt. Plus, traditional rivals clash in our match the round as Bonnyrigg take on Sydney United 58 at the Bonnyrigg Sports Club. All the action is exclusive to Football New South Wales TV. This is the PS4 National Premier League's New South Wales Men's One. The pressure was on Rocktail going into this one with the Sun struggling early on this season. The home side started the better and went within centimetres of opening the scoring on 33 minutes. Tanoski hitting the crossbar. After half time, Tanoski made up for hitting the crossbar earlier, this time finding the back of the net on 55 minutes to give the Suns the lead. And it should have been 2 0 on 69 minutes when Urasevsky missed a clear cut opportunity. Six minutes from time, Blacktown City FC would find an equaliser. Zach Cancross setting up Joey Gibbs, who made it 1 1. The visitors had a final chance to steal all three points in the final minute. They couldn't convert, both sides having to settle for a point each. Neither side took three points home last round, so they were hoping for a change in fortune here. The Wolves had the first chance of the match when Ben Zuko's shot deflected wide. Peter Simonovsky had an opportunity from the resulting corner, but the ball was lifted over the bar. Sam Matthews had a chance for the Wolves on 33 minutes. His shot skewed nearer the corner flag than the intended target, and it was turning into the sort of game where chances were at a premium. Four minutes into the second half, Peter Simonovsky went close after a defensive mix-up, but he couldn't take advantage, scuffing his shot. It was Juan Chavez who would come closest to breaking the deadlock, but he was unlucky to see his effort cannon back into play off the post, and Thomas Manos well beaten. The final chance of the game came on 74 minutes. David Stoyitz unleashing a thunderbolt from distance, but Luke Turnbull was up to the task, keeping the shot out. So the Wolves so unlucky not to take all three points in what was a largely dour affair, it finished 0-0. The Spartans travelled to Marconi Stadium to meet a stallion side with a point to prove. But it was the Spartans who almost opened the scoring inside a minute, Jordan Crichton's shot narrowly sailing over the bar. The Spartans would go close again on 16 minutes when Futa Nakamura forced Sam Nastic into a great save. And Nastic had to work hard again on 23 minutes, denying Benjamin Tozzi with another fine save. Nastic continued to deny the Spartans, pulling off a thrilling double save from Shu Suzaki on 35 minutes. Nastic denied the Japanese import's initial shot and then followed up again on the rebound. The Spartans finally broke through though on 42 minutes. Nastic denied Suzaki again, but he couldn't stop Mitchell Long scoring from the rebound. And it was 2-0 a minute later, when Benjamin Tossi found the back of the net, powering the ball home from the edge of the area. And the game was put out of reach on 63 minutes when Joshua De Silva scored a thrilling third goal from some distance with the Spartans rounding out a 3-0 win. Both teams came into this one neck and neck on the table with each making a steady start to the new campaign. 
It was Manly who fashioned the first chance when Chris Payne turned Brendan Hooper inside out, but Payne could only produce a tame finish. Hooper nearly turned the tables on 36 minutes, but his drive was tipped over the bar. Brendan Chalakian was next to go close, but it was Paul Henderson this time making the save. Finally, the stalemate was broken on 70 minutes. Harris Gaitatsis found the back of the net. Once they opened the scoring, Olympic went to the next level. They'd make it 2-0 on 82 minutes through Tiger Soeda. Chris Payne had a chance to get Manly back into the game in the final minute of regulation time, but Henderson once again wouldn't be beaten. So an impressive win by Olympic after a slow start, it finished 2-0. The Tigers were dealt a reality check last round against Blacktown City FC, and they hoped to quell those demons against the Sharks. And they made the ideal start, Nathan Milgate setting up Corey Bixo, who calmly slotted home to give Arpia the lead. The lead lasted just two minutes before the Sharks equalised. Shong Ying Park curling his shot into the corner to bring them level. Blake Powers been in stunning form this season and the trend continued on 42 minutes. The youngster beating Nathan Denham from long range with a spectacular strike, an absolute cracker to make it 2-1 to Arpia. Powell would go close again on 47 minutes with an open goal in front of him, but he pulled his shot just over the crossbar. The Sharks had a final opportunity two minutes from time, but the shot was sprayed over the crossbar. So the Sharks well and truly in the fight. They come up a little bit short against Arpia. 2-1 at finish. Good afternoon and welcome to Bonnie Rig Sports Centre for the match of the round between the Bonnie Rig White Eagles and Sydney United 58 FC. This local derby has the potential to be explosive. Let's go to your match commentator, Adam Santarossa. Time now for our match of the round as traditional rivals Bonnie Rig and Sydney United 58 clash. Both sides have started well this season and look to be amongst the contenders in 2015. Three points for either could see them edge further up the table towards some breathing space in the finals positions. Let's go to Bonnery Sports Club now for all the action. So Chronopolis sends it long. He's turned it straight over though to Sydney United 58. Here's Dragosevic. He's given it straight back to Bonnery. Now they can go on the attack. Well, Dragosevic has pulled him down. Compounds the error. Be a free kick. So Bonnery take it short. Here's Tadros. Oh, Tadros has found the back of the net. Easy as you like. That is our opening goal. And once again, Chris Tadros has done it in some style. Caught the napping. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross, but in the end it counts. Chronopolis. Such a strength from him playing it out from the back. And then Bonnerick send it long, but they've turned it over now. Sydney United in possession, and Bilic is motoring down this left-hand flank. No, he's got quality delivery. He sends it in, and it's not a bad one again. It's brilliant from Triantis. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, we just mentioned the service of Bilic. He put it on a platter for Triantis, and he stole in on the back post. And, well, that defending, questions will be asked. Bonny 
Drake will just clear the danger, but they've cleared it straight to City United. Parrich. Francis again. Here's Nikas, 2-1. Haven't they turned it on all of a sudden? Sydney United 58. And once again, the service from wide areas, absolutely first class. And Pani Nikas is enjoying life at Sydney United 58, has another goal. And once again, defending, questions will be asked. Nice work. I'm full of confidence this afternoon, and as I say that, they turn it over rather comically. Bonnie Rigar away though. Tadros has got Kara in front of him. He'll find him now. Doesn't have a lot to do. Dragasevic has him well marshaled. Kara sends it in. Oh, it's deflected. It's off the post as well. Once again, wasting little time, Chronopolis. Hadar wins the header and he goes straight through the back of Eunice. He's not happy about it. It'll be a free kick. Tadros runs over it. It's going to be Eunice to take. Oh, not too far away in the end. So Bilic. Been one of their best this afternoon, but the job's not done yet. They've turned it over. You no know Bonnery can be deadly. Here's Kara. As they search for an equaliser. I know we don't have much time left here at the Bonnie Rigg Sports Club. Tadros. Can he lift his side? Eunice. Those two working well together again. Here's Eunice. Oh, here's Kara. There is the equaliser. No, it's not going to count. Flag is up for offside. So Passfield sends it long again. Aerial ping pong at the moment. No one wants to put the foot on the ball. Now City United 58 can break. They've got them stretched. Cardoso, good ball from him. He's opened things up at the back for Sydney United. Cardoso on the spot again. It's three. There's a bit of afters as well. But Sydney United 58 will take three points home from Bonnie Rigg Sports Club. And Richie Cardoso on debut. Finishes it off in style. Bit of fortune in it. But he'll take it nonetheless. And 3-1. Surely there'll be no coming back from that. And that's it. Full time at the Bonnie Rigg Sports Club. A thrilling contest. Some entertaining football. But in the end, City United 58 will take all three points home. It finished City United 58-3. Bonnie Rigg 1. That's all we have time for this week in the PS4 National Premier League's New South Wales Men's 1. Join us next time for another full round of action. Plus our match of the round between Blacktown City FC and Manly United. I'm Adam Santorossa. Thanks for your company. See you next time.